and today we will learn how to do these answers in a answers correct in an easy way. First is five times six hundred. You take the five down and the six down. No zeros. Six times five equals thirty. We will count by fives till six. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six. The thirty is the answer. But we can't leave those zeros behind. So we're going to cross them out. And then we're going to put them down. So that equals 30,000. Make sure to do commas correct. So you just have to add how many zeros there are to the number. Next is 700 times 3. Hold on, let me just write that back real quick. So we can remember if we need to look again, 5 times 6. And then we just, yeah, we'll do a couple more. So now it's 7 times 3. We put the 7 down and the 30 down. Then we do 7 times 3 equals 7, 14, 21. So it equals 21. Then we need to add those two zeros because we cannot put them to waste. The answer is 2,000. Make sure I put the comma in the right place. And then, 100 times 600. Put the 1 down and the 6 down. Number, no zeros. 1 times 6 equals 6. So, wait, hold on. Probably too much close to 500, so we won't be able to write it. I'll just put the answer box right there. So, 100 times 6 equals 6, so we'll put the 6 down, but there's more than one zero, so we put all the zeros down, put the comma in the right area, it goes 60,000. Next is 500 times 60. You put the 500, oh, hold on, let me finish again. So, the 5 goes down here, the 6 goes there. 5 times 6 equals, well, let's look back here. 5 times 6 equals 30. Or we can count by 10s, I mean, 5s again. So, it equals 30. Then we'll add all the 30s. And, yeah, I think I accidentally added an extra three. But that's how to do easy math problems. Subscribe.